Hey guys, it's Gifted Paradox, the sexual beast, bringing you guys the best commentaries in the southeast, and I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Yo, what's up, guys? This is your good friend, Gifted Paradox, here today, bringing you a gameplay commentary. You got some Black Ops 2 TDM, you know, Black Ops 2, best Call of Duty ever made, in my personal opinion. Call of Duty Ghost and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare both suck major buttholes, so I can't fucking even look at it. I, I let alone play it. I can't watch somebody else play it, so how am I supposed to fucking play it? I get about 40 kills in this gameplay. Um, I mean, what, what more can you ask for? I got over half of my team's kills. Like, it's not a spectacular gameplay, but fuck, dude, I carried the shit out of this team, so you should enjoy the gameplay. Um, but I'm not. You know, trying to get onto Thunder's Strug Gaming. And by the way, thank you, Thunder. If you actually do pick this video, which I have no idea why you would, but if you do happen to do it, thank you so much because this will be my, be my third time on the channel. So I just wanted to thank you already um, if you pick it, which I'm not sure if you will, but you know. Uh, but, you know, I'm not here to, you know, suck Thunder's ass or kiss his ass, which is actually what I should have said because suck ass is not even a phrase that people use, but uh, I didn't come to talk about that or the, the gameplay. I came to talk about something that uh, I feel like hasn't been on this channel before. Um, any of my subscribers, I've talked to them about it plenty of times. I've talked to them over about it over and over again because it's part of who I am and I'm not embarrassed about it. But it is a little bit difficult, uh, you know, bringing this kind of a topic to complete strangers. You know, I, I don't know the majority of people that are probably going to watch this video, so... Um, you know, uh, bear with me here, um, don't judge me too hard, uh, and if you do judge me, then whatever, I don't really care, but, um, I, I do want to talk about something very important in today's society, um, uh, so recently I saw a commercial, it had Brandon Marshall in it and a couple other key athletes, and it was about mental health and men talking about mental health, okay, um, and as you can probably guess, and if any of you know me, then, you know, you could probably predict it. This is what I wanted to talk about. Um, and it, there's some crazy st statistic. I don't remember what it is, but I think it was something like maybe two thirds or three fourths, something like that. But a very high percentage of men, the majority of men who have mental health, never, never tell anybody about it their entire life. They go untreated because, you know, men are, we really, and I, I suffered this fate more than most. We're really we're taught that we have to be tough, and if we if we show any weakness, then you know we're not men, we're not real men, we're we're wusses, or we're not good enough, or something like that. And that causes a lot of men to suffer in silence, um, and it's really unacceptable. And it's something that I experienced for years before I actually got help. And I didn't get help because I requested it. I got help because the police came to my house because they thought I was gonna hurt myself, which I basically had already done. Um, and I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, dude, why are you fucking telling all of this to complete strangers? And the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm not alone. And I know that sounds fucking cheesy and it makes me sound like a pussy. But that's the exact st stigmatism that I'm trying to do away with. And that's the what you know. That's why Brandon Marshall, who's a famous receiver in the National Football League, and there was a hockey goalie. That's why they made the commercial because we're trying to get rid of this fucking stigmatism. Just because you're a man doesn't mean that you, you know, don't feel emotion. It doesn't mean that you don't suffer in certain ways. Uh, and if you do suffer in certain ways, that doesn't make you any less of a man. You know. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys and the reason why I'm talking about, you know, the stuff that's happened in my past is because I'm trying to prove that I'm not ashamed of it because I'm really not at all. You know, it is difficult talking, you know, about it to complete strangers and, and, and it, there is a stigmatism around it, but together we can help defeat it, you know? Um, and, you know, that's really... Uh, what is life about if not to be happy, you know? And, you know, there's so many people that just aren't happy or it doesn't even have to be depression or bipolar disorder, which is what I have. It could be schizophrenia. It could be, you know, anxiety disorders. There's so many things that ail people. And then there's so many people that go untreated. And not, not just men. Women go untreated, too, because it's something that people are ashamed of talking about. And it shouldn't be. That's not the way it should be. It just isn't, you know? And I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that feel this way, but then there's also some people in society that think, oh, well, mental health is no big deal, blah, blah, blah. You know, and all I would say is, you know, don't talk about it in that type of way unless you've ever lived a day in somebody else's shoes. That, that's why, 
you know, I, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and I, and I don't feel sorry for myself. I'm actually very thankful for it because, you know, my physical condition, my mental condition, all of that has made me appreciate everybody else's perspective. I don't judge anybody unless I know exactly how they're feeling. I, I don't judge people anymore. And I am so thankful to God or, you know, the universe or whatever you believe in, whatever you guys believe is the ruling power of the universe. I am so thankful to them for giving me Crohn's disease and bipolar disorder. Thank you, because it makes me who I am. And it gives me this fresh perspective to share with you guys and hopefully change some of your minds. Um, and hopefully if there's any males or, or females or whatever out there dealing with mental health problems and they're too ashamed to talk about it, come to my channel. You can direct message me. You can talk to me on Twitter. You can talk to me on Facebook. I don't care. I'll be there for you when nobody else is. You can be comfortable with me. Thank you, Thunder, again for the upload. Uh, and peace out, guys. Have a good day.